I'm Ava, and today we're taking a look at an Etsy shop called Huang Handmade Doll. This package got here a while ago, and I've been dying to take a closer look. There's this nice little thank you card. And I'm telling you now that this was packaged a lot nicer before, but I did take a little bit of a peek and then tried to repackage it myself, and it didn't turn out quite as cute, but the packaging was great. I just kind of ruined it. But there's a little sticker there that holds it all together. And then we can see the stuff inside. This Barbie doll Etsy shop had so many adorable things, but one of the main things I noticed was their jeans and how well they were priced. Like I was blown away by the prices of these jeans and they look like they're gonna be great quality. So let's open them up and take a closer look. Okay, so I tried the jeans on Emily and I'm just blown away at this detail for such a good price. These ones particularly are light denim high-waisted skinny jeans with some rips in them. I love the gold little buttons and the pockets are functional, which is always the best surprise ever. The jeans just Velcro in the back and it is a very snug fit, but I like it that way so that there's no gapping around the waist. And I know skinny jeans are being hated on a lot recently, but personally, I still love skinny jeans and on the dolls, it just looks amazing. I'm super happy with these. Let's take a look at the other ones. Oh, and also look how good these jeans go with my Delightful Dolls merch. Come on, that is a top quality outfit right there. Here are the other skinny jeans, basically the same idea as the last ones, except these ones are obviously in a darker color and don't have any rips on the front. Again, I love the gold detailing and I love the stitching as well. Once again, just Velcroed in the back. Oh, and we gotta love those real pockets too. And now for the last pair of jeans. These last jeans are wide leg jeans. And personally, I love all jeans. I like skinny jeans, wide leg jeans, ripped jeans, non-ripped jeans, so on. I am not a hater of any kind of jeans, honestly. So I'm loving these wide leg jeans as well. The only thing I wish is that there was that same gold detailing for the buttons on the front but I still really like them and I do like how these pockets are really nice and big so the doll's hand can easily just slide into the pockets like that. And once again, it just Velcros in the back. I am curious though, if you guys have a preference between skinny jeans and baggy jeans, comment below and let me know. Okay, so we're done with the jeans, but they also have these jean shorts that I got as well. Okay, I absolutely love these. Once again, they have the gold button detailing and this one has yellow stitching, which I feel like it looks a bit more realistic. I love the rips and I love the raw edge. And once again, I'm loving these big pockets that really make it easy for the doll's hands to fit into. And that's what it looks like from the back. And again, the price for these is just absolutely crazy. For the amount of detail and high quality that they are, the price is literally insane. So that's such an added bonus. As for tops, I ordered these two. Here is this white long sleeve top. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce what that says. I could not tell you. The only thing I'm thinking is that might say Salvatore but maybe I'm just too obsessed with the Vampire Diaries and am completely off. I don't know. If someone knows what this means um, or how to say it, let me know. I do really like the top though. It's pretty basic, but it does look really nice with these jeans and everything is just really nicely sewed and great quality. The only thing I'm not absolutely loving is that there is a very visible outline of the words that have been put onto the shirt. So it kind of does look like it's just been sticked on there, but regardless, I still really do love it and it just Velcros up in the back. And here is this really pretty pink, white, and green flowery top. It's just an off the shoulder top and it's all ruffled together and just really cute and summery. Absolutely loving it with these jeans. And this top is just one that you slip up the doll so there's no Velcro or anything in the back, which leaves a really nice clean look. Now, the last thing I actually ordered from the shop is this little purse. That is adorable. Can it open up? The moment of truth. Yes, it can. Again, the price on this is just really good considering the quality here. Like, I've seen so many expensive items on Etsy, and for the quality and detail on these things, the prices are so good. It has a Louis Vuitton pattern on it, and I love the gold buckling and details. Oh my gosh, and I'm realizing it's adjustable. If you just pull the main straps, it can get bigger. And if you just pull these little pieces back out, 
then it'll shrink again. That is so cool. And here it is on a doll. This is with it fully extended. I really love the idea that this can be a crossbody bag or just like a little shoulder bag or a handbag, all based on how you adjust the strap. This might have to be one of my new favorite doll purses. And this shop also included a little bag of free gifts for me, which is super nice. Let's take a look at what we got here. Here is this plastic Louis Vuitton print bag, some red heels, pink ankle boots, silver heels. These ones are super pretty. These white shoes, these blue boots, which I'm not sure what kind of doll they're meant for because this is on a petite Barbie doll and they don't quite fit. And I don't know any Barbie dolls with smaller feet than petite dolls, but they are still pretty from the front at least. These black sunglasses and a little hair clip. Oh, and also this thing, which I am assuming is candy. I'm not sure. Oh, never mind. That is not candy, I don't think. What is that? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's really cute. I don't think it's edible, but it's just like a little princess charm thing. And that was everything from Huang Handmade Doll. I absolutely love everything from their shop. Again, the prices are amazing. And thank you so much for sending the free gifts as well. Comment below and let me know which of the items from the shop is your favorite. I definitely plan on purchasing from the shop again. I absolutely love it. Okay, now this is super random, but I was at the dollar store and found a few things that we can maybe use for the dolls. So I thought we'd take a quick look at them together. First of all, I found these wooden alphabet letters and you probably think this is completely random, but I'm actually not even here for the letters, but actually for the big wooden shelf looking piece because Emily has a shelf in her room and it is literally this exact same thing. I just took out all of the letters and then it actually works as a great shelf for in the dollhouse. And I've been wanting another one of these so I finally got one and it is just a great quick doll shelf that you can pop into any room. Plus these letters I always seem to find a use for to decorate the rooms or just for something. I got this random pack of eight glitters here. I'm actually going to open this one up and I genuinely just like using these as decorations in the dollhouse. You've probably seen me do this with several of the doll rooms as well but they are just quick and easy little decorations to clutter up a doll room or I could actually get use out of this glitter too if I wanted. And there's some pretty nice colors here. Okay, clearly I was desperate, <laughs> but I saw this at the dollar store and it has been like years since I've actually bought a Barbie doll like fashion pack. And this one definitely like doesn't look too special, but the only thing that did catch my eyes are these boots here. And I feel like if we spice them up a bit, they could be pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I was desperate. I was not finding too much luck at this dollar store, but I saw this and I'm like, you know what? We could make use of these boots, I think. Here's the outfit on Nicole, and this is a great example of why I buy from Etsy shops. <laughs> I'm not trying to diss on this outfit, but that is also exactly what I'm doing. And obviously, it's what I expected. I literally could see the outfit when I bought it, so I'm not going to complain or say, like, that this was misleading. But yeah, it's just not very realistic looking, and not at all something I'd actually dress my dolls in. Like even just comparing the Etsy shop shorts and these shorts here, the difference is absolutely insane. <laughs> Plus, I think these are like the one size fits all clothes, so I think they might fit a curvy Barbie doll better. But either way, it's nothing special. And again, this is not what I actually bought this clothing pack for. I bought them for the shoes, which I do actually really like. The purple is definitely a very like out there color and they do look quite plasticky. But I think if I paint them up a little bit and just kind of enhance some of the detail here, they could actually look really good. So I mixed together a matte Mod Podge with some acrylic paint and I paint the shoes. And yeah, you can't tell me that doesn't look 10 times better with the painted on details. These are boots that I would actually use on the dolls, especially paired with the right outfit. Okay, now this next thing, I actually have no explanation for. <laughs> I just saw this little thing of wood stumps and how could I not get them? Look at these things. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna actually do with them or what I'm gonna use them for, but they're basically just these like miniature wood stumps and they look adorable. Maybe I can use them for like a fireplace. I'm sure I'll find something. Either way, I just, I love them. I want to, let's open them up and <laughs> take a closer look. I don't know. Again, I have no good reason for actually getting these, but I just, I love them. Okay. I love them. I also bought a whole bunch of fake plants and flowers. I bought this one that just looks like some fake leaves. I got these 
pretty pink ones that almost remind me of like lavender or something. And then I got these kind of flowers in pink, yellow, and purple. I can always use more greenery and plants in the doll spaces, so I just kind of went crazy with it and bought a whole bunch because these will be perfect for the dollhouse. And actually, I might just have come up with a really good idea of how we can use the plants and the wood stumps. So I grab a stump and I have this nail file drill. I use this for filing my nails down and I just put on a pointy attachment on the end and I'm gonna turn it on. And I'm just gonna drill a hole into the stump. And now I'm sure there are probably better ways of going about this, but basically I just want to create a little opening in the wood stump to stick some of the fake flowers into. And I'm just going to hot glue those in place. Along with some of the little green leaves. To make a quick little flower pot with some flowers in it. I actually love this. Usually my problem with making doll plants is I get really lazy and don't want to make the pots for the plants. But this is just a super quick and easy way to make a pot for the plants. And I think it looks really good. There is also the option of making the opening bigger. And I'm just using some woodworking tools to carve away at the wood and make a larger opening. Then I can cut brown felt into little pieces and glue it into the opening and then glue in the flowers to make a potted plant with some dirt in it. And I think this version looks really nice as well. I also think it might have been smarter to glue in the plants first and then glue in the felt for the dirt afterwards, just so the plants are a little bit more securely in there, but it still turned out pretty good this way as well. Here's another one I really quickly did, and I'm definitely liking the ones with the dirt better than the ones without. It just adds that extra bit of realism, and I just think it really tops off the look. And so I actually just quickly went back and added some dirt to this one as well. And that really does look a lot better in my opinion. So that was my quick little dollar store haul and craft that you guys can try out too. If your dollar store also happens to have some fake plants and little miniature logs. It's definitely quite random, but I'm absolutely in love with these. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can become part of the hashtag DD Squad. Love you all, and see you all in the next one. Bye!